Hi there, this is Peter Upbold, and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take music in your iTunes library and convert it into MP3 format. And you might want to do this if you need to transfer it to a device that doesn't support the format that normally it will be in if it's in your iTunes library. So I've got an album here, and this album is actually in Apple lossless format, but I want to transfer it to a device that um, uh, only supports MP3. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, we need to actually go into the iTunes preferences and set our import settings to MP3. Now, I'm doing this on a Mac, but the process is exactly the same on Windows. It's just that here on the Mac, I go to the iTunes menu and click preferences. And on Windows, there'll be a little menu button about here, which you click on and you find preferences. In preferences, you go to general and then click on import settings. And you want to go down here and select MP3 encoder and you can choose a quality setting there as well. If I then click OK and OK and now what I want to do is convert these tracks into the MP3 format. So I'm going to click on one, hold down shift and click on the last one to select them all at once. Whoops, hold on. Click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one and now I right click and I click on create MP3 version. And this is going to make copies of all of these files in MP3 format. So how do I work out which ones are the MP3 copies that I want to move over to my device? Well, let's go across to the Songs view by clicking up here on Songs. And now this still doesn't help us very much, but if we go across to this heading, right-click and click on Kind, we can now click on this column heading to sort by kind. So these are the original Apple lossless files, and these MPEG audio files are the MP3 files. So again, I'm going to hold down Shift and click on the last one to select them all. And now I can just go to a folder and I can drag them and drop them in the folder to copy them outside my iTunes library. So those files will just copy. And now I could copy those files onto my device and enjoy those tracks in MP3 format. And what you might want to do now is you might want to just delete the copies here. You can either keep the files in your iTunes library, but remove the duplicates from playback, or you can just delete the files completely with Move to Trash. And then you might want to switch your import settings back, or you might want to keep your import settings on MP3, so that the next time you import a CD, or indeed if you want to right-click another track and choose Create MP3 Version, you can do that at any time. So I hope this helps you enjoy your music in any format that you want, including MP3, on any device that you want.